Hey guys, it's Matt from Half-Life Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Kodak CFH V15 home security camera. So stick around. So I purchased this video camera about nine months ago. Uh, I've been using it pretty religiously. Uh, so far, it's been working out pretty good. It's kind of nice to keep an eye out on your house. I thought it might be a little creepy at first having a security camera in my house. You know, it's, it's kind of, uh, I don't know. It's a little weird, but after I've been using it for a while, uh, it's really paid off. I'm able to keep an eye on my pets. I'm able to keep an eye on my house, make sure everything is good that way. You can set up different kinds of video monitoring notifications if there's some kind of movement. Um, and Kodak's probably one of the first companies that have made you know, motion detection work pretty well. I mean, I've tried it on DVR systems for outdoor cameras and things like that, and it just usually always picks up everything. Uh, Kodak seems to really have figured out you know, the algorithms of what's true motion and what's just a repeated motion and things like that. But you have to pay extra for that service. And I'm not a fan of paying extra. I mean, I bought the camera. Some of that stuff should already be incorporated into it. And I'll get more in depth with that uh, further along in this review and let you know how all that works out. So in the box, you're gonna get a camera, a mounting plate, and a power unit, as well as information on the iSecurity app and how to download it, set your camera up to Wi-Fi uh, at your home so you can live stream it while you're at home or while you're out of the country. Uh, when I went on my recent trip to Mexico, I checked in on the house. I had no problems, so that's a bonus. I really like this for the fact that I can really check on what's going on even if I'm thousands of miles away and I'm sure you're looking for the same thing if you're looking at a home security camera. So I'm going to get into the features that you can purchase that are extra. I'm not a fan of being nickeled and dimed once per month. I, I, I just don't like it. I mean when you download an app for your phone or your tablet and you know it's a freemium type of game you can play it for a little while but if you want that extra bonus or that extra perk you're gonna have to dish out some money I don't understand why you know I spent a hundred dollars on this and now I've got to buy extra stuff um, it's an annoyance and it might be something that you want to think about so as of June 25th, 2016, this is how their features break down for add-ons. So when you purchase this video monitor system, what you get standard with it is one day of cloud storage. That's 24 hours. After 24 hours, it deletes everything that's happened and that your camera has recorded. So if something happens, you need to be sure to get on the site and download whatever you need as evidence of something that might have happened. Otherwise, it's gonna be gone. Uh, you can pay extra. Um, basically, 14-day cloud storage with smart detection is gonna cost you 10 bucks a month. If you want 30 days, it's gonna cost you 20 bucks a month. Um, it includes things like, you know, you can favorite different clips that you catch on your camera, which is pointless to me really I mean I'm not gonna favorite anything uh, but maybe you will maybe you're using it for a different purpose altogether but as far as home security goes or just monitoring of what's going on at your house um, kind of pointless so with the standard feature again you get one day of cloud storage uh, unlimited live streaming which is good and that should just be how it is. As long as you have it set up to your home Wi-Fi, you should be able to stream what's going on at your home no matter where you are as long as you have an internet connection. Uh, you get motion trigger notifications. The standard ones do trigger quite a bit um, and it's a nuisance. And the thing that bothers me the most is they try to push you into this $2.99 a month plan to where you get, you know, reduce false alarms, differentiate between a person or moving vehicle with intelligent computer vision technology. Why do I have to pay more for that? Why do you have to pay more for that? I, I really feel it should just be standard with this. Um, I believe iSecurity Plus is like a sister kind of software company that Kodak's probably purchased. 
um, but it's just another way to gouge the consumer and I'm not a super fan of that. So what you get standard is, you know, live streaming. As long as you have it hooked up to your home Wi-Fi, it's all good. You can set the notifications for movement, but it's still not perfected. You're gonna get that constant notification that drives you crazy. It, it's better than what DVR systems provide for the most part as far as motion goes. And that's kind of the whole point of having a security camera in the first place. So the fact that they're pushing you into a $2.99 a month charge extra for your camera to differentiate between a person, an animal, or a shadow is annoying to me. That should just come standard with the camera. Um, so it does bug me. It does annoy me. I don't understand why companies need to push you into buying add-ons for everything. It just really gets to me. So what I've done is I've just used all the standard stuff i check up when i think about it during the day um, i'm planning on maybe getting the 2.99 a month plan uh, but it pains me to do so and i've been thinking about it now for two months so i don't know if i'm ever going to do it but as far as checking in and seeing what's going on at your home at different glances it's pretty good uh, especially when your camera switches over to night vision it's dark then you can turn the notifications on and you're not going to get very many of them unless something is truly moving. Uh, there's not going to be any weird shadows that the sun is pushing through your windows or anything like that, but you have to remember to turn the notifications on at nighttime. And that's a whole nother thing where it's like you can't schedule what time you want it to do things at, but you can pay for that. And I just don't agree with that. It just drives me crazy. You've already spent $100 for this camera. It works really well. The picture quality is good. Um, you can tap into it, look at things that are going on, but you still have to pay extra. Uh, I just don't agree with that. So another issue with this camera that has pushed me to the point of just going crazy is firmware updates. Basically the camera is going to update itself with the newest firmware, uh, you know, bug fixes, adds enhancements to the camera, whether it moves a certain way or how well the night vision works, things like that. It needs to upgrade the camera to fix problems that it might be having or other people might be having. Now the way you update your firmware is you use your phone and when you log into your iSecurity account, you're gonna see an icon that shows that a firmware update is available. Now, when I first got the camera, I could do a firmware update, the camera would reboot, and then the firmware would be applied and it would be smooth sailing. Well, as of the last three firmware updates, when I update the firmware on the camera, the camera doesn't turn back on. So I have to crawl up there with a ladder, I have to reset, you know, the camera by holding the power button on it to get it to cycle. I don't know why that is. It's a bug most definitely because it was working fine prior to the last three firmware updates. But now, you know, you're crawling up there to reset the camera and it, it's just a hassle. It should just work. It was working prior to the last three firmware updates. Why isn't it working now? Um, it's annoying. So my overall impression of this camera is I do like it. Um, I really do. I like the ease of access of dialing in and seeing what's going on at my house. I like to know that things are in order. I like to know no one's breaking in through a window or has broken in through a window. Um, but the downsides really kind of outweigh the camera itself. I mean, I've got a pay extra for more cloud storage. I have to pay extra for enhancements to motion detection. I have to pay extra to set up a schedule with the camera. Uh, it's just gnarly. It, I just don't get that. I really don't. It's just a cash grab once you buy this camera. It really is. Um, the firmware updates alone are so annoying. You know, you, you can email the iSupport through the app, but good luck getting a reply. You're not gonna hear anything. Uh, if you do, it's just going to be, oh, we'll reset the camera and da da da. Well, if you're not so tech savvy and can't understand that, oh, well, maybe if I turn off my password on my wireless network, maybe it'll work then, then you're just going to be stuck with a camera that you can't even view 
through your phone or your tablet or whatever device you have, even the internet. Um, and you're kind of up, you know, the creek without a paddle and no one's really there to help customer service wise. So luckily I was able to figure that out and, you know, hopefully that will save you some time. If I had to rate this camera, you know, one to 10 scale again, and I'm, I'm not a fan of rating things, you know, I just like giving my honest opinion about how something works or it doesn't work, especially as time has elapsed. Everything typically works great when it first comes out of the box, but how is it months later or a year later or two years later? You know, that's important to me and I believe as a consumer it should be important to you as well and I'm sure it is. Um, so back to a rating system, one to 10. As far as the hardware goes and the camera itself, the picture quality, the night vision quality, the fact that you're able to talk through the camera and converse with someone because it has a microphone and a speaker, um, it's great, it really is. But the add-ons and the firmware update issues just absolutely kill it for me. So one to 10, I gotta give this camera an honest six out of 10. I mean, those annoyances alone just ruin this camera. And it's a shame because it's a nice camera. It works well, you know, 350 degree view, you get pan and tilt, you can do all of that. It's really good that way. But from a software perspective, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And from a cash grab perspective, I wish companies would just stop already. Just stop, please stop. <laughs> so anyways, if you like this review, uh, I hope the videos keep getting better. I hope you like the videos. Uh, they're a little longer than your standard videos, but that's how my brain works. I, I like information. I like learning as much as I can about something before making a purchase. You know, an Amazon written review is not going to do it for me. You don't know if people are, you know, paid out by the company to leave reviews or if the product's just been gifted to them and, oh, here's my happy review because you gave me something for free. Um, I don't work that way. So I hope you like the review again. Uh, like, subscribe, stick around, leave your comment, dislike, whatever you got to do. But I hope this video has helped you made your mind up about getting this security camera. So have a good one.